All right, so now that we're back, not only do you want to figure out, you know, just getting your ESXi up and running, what hardware, how you want to lay the hard drives out, and all that stuff in the networking, you got to figure out your VMs itself. So on my normal house network, my wireless router takes care of DHCP, you know, life is easy. You do all the easy stuff in that world. When a LAN, not oh, LAN, sorry, in a test lab, you kind of want to have an Active Directory DNS DHCP environment. You want you want to, you want to simulate everything, yeah, you know, if that's what you're going for. And to do that, you want to keep things separate. So that's why I have this LAN here with no physical adapter. This can I can have an Active Directory server, DNS DHCP, give out IPs and everything, and not mess with my regular household if I shut this down. So, the one of the things, once you do this, it's great, but you want to get out to the outside world. You want to get to Google. You want to do stuff. Well, Frisco. I found Frisco was pretty cool. I checked it out. I had a lot of issues with it. Um, trying to figure out how to install it. You know, I, I'm not here to learn about that. I want to install Active Directory. I want to do all that other stuff. As you see here, I have Alterius, SQL. That's my biggie that I want to do. So, I didn't... This is Linux-based. Now, after Googling it over and over, somebody created an OVA file, and once you download it, I did download the latest for 0.4.5, and it wouldn't import right. So, I'll give an example. Even as it's running, we'll go ahead and we'll do another one. So, if you create register VM, you, choi, you, choi, you choose deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file, enter the name, uh, test uh, gateway, and you're going to, so here it is. Oh, that's the 4.5 I couldn't get to go. You know what? Let me just show you. So if I do 4.5, come on. Looks like it didn't even go. That, that's the zip. That's why. So let's go into here. Uh, yep, yeah, downloading so much stuff playing around. Four dot five OVA. Let's drag drop. Here we go. We say next. Choose a data store. Thin provisions. What I choose, you can choose whatever you want. Power on automatically. We don't want to do. We say next. Say I get this. Required disk image was missing. So somebody went out there and they created this for us. They already did all the legwork. And I'll show you what I mean. We'll go back and say, you know what? Let's go back. We're not going to do four dot five. We're just going to go ahead and do 4.3. Say next. Choose. So look, here's a difference off the bat. It sees my network. So yeah, you choose one and the other. Don't power on. We say next. Now, see how everything else is filled out. Even though it says unknown, it's okay. But everything is here. We would say finish, and it would create our, our VM for us. And what we would end up with would be this guy which looks like this. So it shows one CPU, 256 meg of RAM, 256 meg hard drive. That was also thin provisioned. I had to play around with the networks to get them to go. So everything was done for us, which is really nice. Once it's powered on, you go to console, launch remote console. This is, this is one of the things I really like about 6.7, 6.5 had it as well. So here's my here's my router, right? So it fired up, and here it is. So it works. So let's uh, we'll go and show you some settings. So initially, when you f when you boot it up, it'll come up just like this, and it'll be a different network here, not a 1066. The 192 is default. I tried changing that, and I couldn't get it to work. It stopped working. I'll show you what I mean. So. So you go in, and you type setup. This is the first page. C for color. Now, originally, I believe DNS server was enabled. HTTP control time server was enabled. So I disabled those. 
hit X to back up. If you go down to advanced settings, here's where you would change your passwords on A. But when you come down to local networks, this is where the first NIC it took DHCP. As you see, use DHCP client. Yes, yeah, so it filled all this out for me, which is really nice. I had a I I attempted, as I said, you hit one, so you hit zero to go here, one to go here. If you want to add another NIC, you can hit two. See, you can hit two, and there's nothing filled out yet. So we'll go to one. Now. I went through, I changed this to a 1066.1.1 and tried all the stuff and I just couldn't get it to work. So once you're done here, you set these settings, you hit X and I don't think there's really anything else in here to do. Hit X again. You can, oh, uh, this was already done as well, but here's where Ethernet router was chosen. So, here you would hit save and exit. And then when you do, you would just reboot. So, I will just quit because I don't want to make any changes. And I will reboot. Just let it reboot. While that's going, my AD server, as I said, these already have the base OS installed and haven't gotten anywhere else. And this video is only going to be for free SCO. There's really not much to it. It's very nice. Leave in the comments if there's a nicer router you like. So I can check it out. I just know this works for me. Uh, another thing with these VMs. If you want a higher resolution. So Active Directory Server. Do you really need an intensely high uh, resolution? No. But... Uh, to set it up and stuff, it's nice to have all that screen. When you're done, you can change the resolution. But what you do is you go in and you add more video memory. I give you the example here. So we got edit settings. And you come down to video card. This was four meg and 256 probably. I think I just over 128. I took 16 meg and 512. Once I did that, I was then able to get this resolution to go higher. And this VM seems to be frozen. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can reboot it. Not sure why it's locked up. So it's off. So we'll go ahead and oh, this is also nice too. Auto start. You can come in and turn on auto start on all your VMs. And you can choose different settings. So that way once the server comes up, they'll automatically start. Let's go ahead and get this to come up. We'll hit power on. Still going. So our router's back up and it's here. Uh, something else you can do. Or other one. So from within this VM itself, it can ping both NICs. It can ping both networks. I, I know it's not going any further than just the VM itself. So we will go ahead and log into the server. And once it comes up here, 
we will go ahead IP config. So I, I statically assigned an IP. We're going to go ahead though, ping 192.168.1.1. And that we're pinging. Ping. 10.66.10.1. This is my wireless router that le goes out my house. So I'm already going through Frisco over to my wireless router. So let's go ahead and say. I think I had to pump up a little bit more memory in this. It is running a little doggy. I have plenty of memory to allocate, just not sure how many VMs I'm going to have. Alright, so let's uh, just. Google. And there we go. So Freeze goes up and running. I mean, there's nothing to it, nothing really to it. But this, to me, is one of the first things that needs to be set up because when you do your lab, you're going to have pieces that sometimes want to go out to the web. So you're going to want to be able to get out. You need that infrastructure in place. And like I said, if you stick all this on your main network, yeah, your wireless router might give out IPs and whatnot, but once you install a DHCP server, now your DHCP server and your wireless router will be giving out IPs. It will wreak havoc. I've done that. So, all right. Well, that was a nice, quick, short video.